Okay, let's see if we can do this under two or three minutes. This is the natural gas weekly chart. This is the Henry Hub price, the March futures. Let's have a look at where we are. There's the long-term channel. This is all in the previous video, so I'll link that at the end. You can have a look. The downward channel, all the touch points. Let's zoom in a wee bit there. And there's the first approach from underneath, the breakthrough, and then the touch at the top two times, the touch at the bottom, and now the second touch at the bottom. So we've had two at the top, and this is the second one at the bottom. Let's zoom in. Those two green arrows represent my entry points, the average price now at 2.09. Now on the day chart, you can see we're forming this horizontal ledge in the support zone at the bottom of the channel. There are entry arrows. Whilst this looks quite constructive, at this point, it's still just a bare flag, really. We've come down, we're going sideways, a rectangle more than a flag, but it's taking place in the support zone. We have further support below us at about 1.8 and then slightly below that. Let's look at the weekly chart one more time. And here on the weekly chart, you can see that green support level below us, and that's around about 150, give or take a few percent each side. So back to the daily chart, we've got this consolidation at the order blocks, supply and demand support level at the channel bottom, but just going sideways and not showing any great upward momentum or impetus or anything really looking particularly bullish just yet. Let's have a look at the four hour chart. This gives us a few clues. First of all, we've got a little spike low over here and we've got a spike high there. So it's sort of one down, one up candle. And on this last four hour candle, we've actually broken above, not yet closed, above the 20 period moving average. The 50 is just above us at about 210 and then the 100 and the 200 are around about the 240 region. Whilst we're on four hour charts, I want to show you this OANDA chart. This is the OANDA ETF four hour chart and have a look at what we've got at the bottom here. That's our average entry price. We're just about at it at the moment. But what I like about this, we have a similar sort of support level. It's not quite the same. It's a different ETF. It's not the natural gas futures. We have two spike lows down into the support zone at around about 220. That's forming an intraday or actually multi-day at this point, a double bottom. And we've rallied up from there and a few other reversal candles scattered about including this inverse hammer a few candles ago. Back to the Henry Hub futures and back to the weekly chart on here. So, so far so good. It looks like we're trying to hold. We are at the channel bottom. We're forming a few wick low candles on the weekly chart. Our target's at $3, this swing high here. And by the time we get there, it'll probably be at the top of the channel too. Going back to the daily chart, you can see we've got a conglomeration of moving averages above us, which we've got to get through. This is the same channel top. There's the resistance zone, the $3 level, and we have an order block level just below that where we probably will meet the channel at around about 280 to 290. So, so far so good today. Good luck. I'll speak to you soon.